All politics is personal, that's what they say. And what we know is that the political is the personal. On this dyslexia day, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about my son, Richard Lawton Jordan the fourth. It's a big name, isn't it? So I'm from Dodge County, so I call him Bubba. Bubba's my firstborn and might be the kindest and gentlest soul on the earth. He's artistic. Some of y'all have seen his art of late. Um, but when he was in the first grade, his teachers identified an issue. He could not read. You know, I was devastated because reading really was my path out of poverty. And that's what lawyers do, right? That's all we do. It's necessary to every function of life and in terms of employability and opportunity. Now, we were lucky. In the 6th District, we have the Skank School. We have the Speech School. He was remediated after tremendous amounts of time, efforts, tutors, and tremendous amounts of money. And let me tell you something, a lot of it was because of the tremendous heart of my Bubba. So just to show you what this type of remediation can do for these kids, he could not read when he was in second grade. He is in the eighth grade now. Last year, he was accepted into the Duke TIP program Duke University's talent identification program because he scored in the 95th percentile on the ACT for reading and writing. That is what can happen when these children are identified and they are remediated. I want that for all of Georgia's children. I want that for all of the kids in Dodge County and South Georgia in these rural areas. We see these numbers where kids aren't reading at grade level in the third grade. I will tell you that is because of dyslexia. Now, one of the things that was most disheartening is, as with every parent, once we got the diagnosis, I started to Google things, which you should not do. And I will tell you that the prison and dyslexia correlation is all too real. But when you start to dig into the numbers, you realize that those are the children that aren't identified. Those are the children that are not remediated in our public school system in this state. SB 48 is the right step. It's the right first step. And it's the right thing for all of Georgia students. And thank God we had the ability to take care of my son, but I want that for everyone's. Thank you.